In this ROS2 TF2 tutorial, we will see how to make a turtle follow another turtle with delay. We will start off by going over some Python references, talk about the TF2 listener updates, go over the turtle following with insufficient data, and then finally go over the turtle following with delay. By the end of this video, we will see how we can move one turtle and then have the second turtle follow behind with a five second delay, as you can see the green turtle here following. So if you need some Python references, I have a Python playlist that you can check out here. And then also for the Python classes, inheritance, and if name is main, if you need some brush up on that. So let's go ahead and update our TF2 listener. So we will copy our file over into our package from our last video, which I have already done. So the first case we're going to look at is a turtle following with insufficient data, which will be our test one. So inside our listener here, we have uh, the case here we, where we have, we want to get the time using the clock. And then we have a T, which will have a buffer lookup transform. And this is going to do the to frame and then from frame and then give it a time. So to test this out, we need to go ahead and build it. So I'm going to run my Colcom build command here. So I'm going to build source and then run our um, frame here, our launch file with our carrot frame. So I'm going to go ahead and run that. And this, what you can see is the turtle will start moving a little bit. And then at some point where it runs out of data, it's going to start going out of control because there's no data to follow. So you can see here, it's just going to keep moving around in random places. So now we're going to go ahead and take a look at the second test, which is a turtle following with a delay. So we want to go ahead and modify our code here. So we want to comment out the first test case and uncomment out the second uh, test case. And you can see this one here, we're also getting the time. The main difference is now we have a target frame, which we will be getting, and then a source frame. So this the idea is we're getting the frames between the turtles. And we have a fixed frame world here with some timeout. So we're going to go ahead and save it and then now we will come back here. What we want to do is build source and then run the launch file. So I'm going to go ahead and paste this. So this will go ahead and start up our program. And then here we want to run a teleop in our other window. So this will allow us to command the turtle and see it follow. So here you can see our turtle is ready to follow. And you can see as I move one of the turtle, and five seconds later, the other turtle will start following as we expect. Okay, so in my next video, I'm going to talk about unit testing with Google Test for C++. So go check that out. If you found this video helpful, give a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.